What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back our blood clot again, you understand? Episode 31 of the Trophy Show. We are back again, you understand? Sophie is back from her Miami trip. You Hello, get me? Everybody. Back from seeing Messi. Back I from I didn't getting... see Messi. I didn't see Messi. You didn't get no tan either. I did get a tan. Are you joking? I'm actually quite brown at the minute. Are you? Yeah. You're not on your face. Maybe that's the, the foundation. Okay. I don't know. How was Miami? You know what? It was good. I had a few ups and downs there. Go on. <clears throat> um, the purpose of the trip was obviously to go and, you know, watch Into Miami play, get some, I'm trying to get my TikTok up and running. I want to, you know, get some good content for everybody because people like to see, I think, teams that play outside of the Premier League as well, just see what the atmosphere is like. Um, I have to say the football is uh, diabolical. Yeah, it's championship level. <laughs> No, it's not even championship level. It's like Who did Conference they play? South. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. Who did they play? You weren't there. Uh, they played Montreal. They lost. I think we lost 3-2. But, um, <clears throat> you know, so the last two times I've been to see into Miami, the first time I didn't see Messi because it was he was on international duty. The second time, apparently he has some sort of shin injury or some sort of injury. So I didn't see him either, either times. But I don't really care. He's never been Chelsea, so I'm not really that bothered, you know, like everybody else is. It's Messi, though. Don't really care. Um, you do. I actually don't. The whole purpose was to go see Messi. No, the whole purpose was to go to the Inter Miami game. To so see I Messi. go for more the more the fans. No, because I, I didn't I didn't see him play last time. We had the best Busquets. time ever. Shout out Busquets. Um, <clears throat> but there was one. That they're quite. They're quite. The stadium's great. The atmosphere's great. They're quite funny though in terms of the fans. So what do you mean? So I'm. So they have got this. These two. These two blocks where it's for the like the ultras type yeah, of thing. Yeah. And I'd had an, Uber, an accident in my Uber, we'll get to that in a minute, where I literally, my leg just was not playing ball, like I couldn't even move it. Uh, and so one of the guys gave us a wristband so that we could sit there because every, it was actually really packed this time. The last time I went there, there was barely any, there wasn't, no, there wasn't barely anybody there, but it was a lot, there was a lot more, you know, free seats around. And um, so me and my girlfriend went to sit there, <clears throat> second part, they said, listen, these two are free, you can sit here. I said, sound. This older woman looks behind, back behind us and says, Hi, ladies. And we're like, oh, hi. And she was like, um, you need a different type of wristband to sit here. This is a supporters group only. Uh, so you can't sit here. And all the guys are looking around like, that's a bit stupid. And I was like, oh, OK. And she was like, yeah, no, you can't sit here. So then we had to move again. So I was like, that's a bit like a bit rude. She's like, yeah, it's a supporters club. And I said to her, well, it's not very supportive, is it? Clearly. Facts. Like, I'm sorry, we're all fans. We're all there to see the same team. You can see I've got a massive injury on my leg. Like, can we just leave it out? And she calls it soccer, the fucking idiot. She was just being mean. She didn't call it football. She just was being horrible She was us. ugly, innit? Uh, no, we're not going to say that. She was in big, that. greasy things, innit? No, she you wasn't big, Looking like Miss thing. Trunchbull. No. I like Miss Trunchbull. It was Miss Trun <laughs> America, Miss Trunchbull. No. You know they're bigger in America as well, innit? I mean, I have super to- Supersize. Well- They still got supersize. We ain't. I will say their cholesterol is rock and roll. I will say madness. Rock and roll. You understand? Troopy. Bro, why do you think they got the Grand Canyon? I don't get it. Because why do you think they got a hole in the middle in the hole? Because you understand? Some fat you just went. I don't understand. You get me? That's horrible. No, I will say she America, was fat though, innit? America definitely has an obesity problem. Okay, see? In terms and of she the was food obese, they serve and the portion size. I bet she had like two hot dogs in her hands. No. She had the nachos, no, she wasn't guacamole. That much. No, she wasn't. That large. She wasn't that large. I think she was just older and didn't like the younger generation. I, oh. think, I think we can say that. Plus, she ain't got a leg over for about ten years. Oh, Bit menopausal. Can we not say that, please? That's <laughs> I can be menopausal and nice. Was she hot? When I get to that age. <laughs> no, I just think she was being rude because the guy next to us sort of looked like this is stupid, and I was like, "Listen, we're all fans. It's the second half. Mm. Like, just let us be here and support." Um, but again, they are ultras. They are, it's Latin America. They're very passionate. So I think maybe they were just a bit, you know, yeah, hello protective, of, protective of their, um, their culture. But yeah, no, um, it culture. was, it was good. The club's been, the club's existed for two fucking years. What do you know about culture? Okay. Well, I'm just saying, you know, it's very. They're not like a founding, they're not like a founding team in the MLS, you know? No, I know. They're not like a New York Red Bull. I'm saying, but you've got like, you've got like. Colombians, you have yeah. people from Cuba, yeah. South er, anyone in South America, they all sort of seem to support Miami. Yeah, because um, they're all down there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the stadium is about an hour away. So just getting there was like, and the ticket prices are, are, are mental. But, you know, it was a content trip and I got some good content and I really enjoyed it. And the girls like going to the football and stuff. So it's nice to have some, um, you know, 
family and friends around me. Um, but yeah, it was it was good, uh, all by the accident. So what happened uh, in the Uber? <laughs> well, so I thought I only we didn't go to any clubs or anything. It wasn't that type of trip. But mm. I did go to my friend's birthday on one of the evenings, and you know what? I thought it's late. The clocks went forward. I looked at the clock and I was like, Jesus Christ, it's it's 4 a.m. I was like, I need I need to go. I've got a big day at the football tomorrow. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go be be sensible and I'm going to go home. Mm. Change woman. So I basically got in the Uber. And when I'm tired in an Uber, especially that late night, I just lie down the back and sleep. And then, you know, when I wake up, I, you know, get to the destination. I've already had the, 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 the bollocking from my family members. Don't worry. How are you falling asleep in an Uber? I always do. As a woman? No, we were on a motorway. It's fine. But anyway. I'm on a motorway. But anyway, so long story short, uh, Miami apparently is notorious for a lot of drunk drivers or people that, you know, just don't drive sensibly. I could have told you that. Yeah. Anyway, the next thing you know, I have flown, flown onto the floor, like literally like tumbled over. And um, I was like, ah, and the driver's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, as a drunk driver. Um, I was like, you know what, it's, it's not his fault, obviously. But then when I looked down, I had a massive cut on my knee. And it was obviously cut open. I don't know how I cut it. There was no sharp edges. I think it just must have been the force. It's only very tiny, but it you was probably a little, hit it was the back deep. of the thing. Well, that's what I thought. But can you? I thought it had to be sharp to get no, a cut. It, no, it, no, it can be like friction. I think it was friction. So then I looked up and I had like this like blood on my leg. I was like, oh, he's like, are you okay? I was like, darling, it's fine. So lesson learned: always wear a seatbelt, even if you're in the back of an Uber, because lots of people don't in Ubers. But always wear a seatbelt and. Um, yeah, just be careful when you're in Miami because anybody can just pull in front of you. It wasn't the Uber driver's fault. He was, you know, following all the correct guidelines that he should do and safety stuff. But um, yeah, then my knee was just completely done and bruised and couldn't really walk on it. So it's getting better now, luckily. Your team's getting a bit better as well. Yes. Another semi-final. Hilarious. But that's it. I, I have to. That's I, it now. <clears throat> no, I know. Yeah, you get that's, there and that's it. You're not going to the final. You know, this is where it ends. Well, no, I don't know. I have, think. I so think, if this is where it ends. Well, it's not. Okay. So I bet you any money when Pep saw that draw, we were the one team he didn't want. He would have much preferred to have United over uh, us. No, they wanted, everyone wanted Coventry. Well, everyone wanted Coventry, yeah. And everyone wanted, no, this is the funniest. Although they're not doing too badly at the minute. You I know what the funniest say. thing is? Everyone wanted so Man United wanted Coventry. Everyone else wanted Man United. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I would have preferred having United mm -hmm. over the City. Coventry ain't doing that bad at the minute. Plus, it, you, then they're not. They're actually an all right side. Mm -hmm. uh, of, of course, they are not premiership level. Mm -mm. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know... What, beat Man United? Line. Not beat, but just, there's definitely going to be some goals going in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen United's defence the other day, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um... But yeah, no, Chelsea are, <laughs> we're just hilarious. So I have to point out a couple of things here. So I absolutely, I loved, loved De Sassi's 35 yard goal. Thought it was fantastic. Really, really impressive. Uh, Sterling's free kick is one of the best free kicks, the best worst free kicks I've ever well, seen. What his penalty? His penalty was poor. So I don't know if you guys could hear, did you watch the game? Yep. Um, so on the TV when he got subbed off eventually there were boos boos around but the boos it, it, and I know this for a fact because I was there they weren't necessarily towards him it was, it was towards Poch because he makes substitution who does he pull off he pulls off Mudrick that's after Sterling's taken the ball to have the penalty I don't mind if he wants to take the penalty when we're 2-3-0 two, two, up that's fine but Cole Palmer is our penalty taker you should not be taking the ball off of him in under any circumstance, this is a quarter final. We can't afford to have any slip ups. Sterling's an experienced player. What are you talking about? Palmer is our penalty taker. No, I don't care how experienced he is. And the reason it messed up is because of his own arrogance. So that's what happened there. And then Poch subbed off Mudrick. And then he goes to, goes on to do that free kick. The guys next to me were saying, oh, Sterling's finally coming off. I'm like, no, he's not. He's going to take off Mudrick first. Mudrick comes off, Sterling stays on. So there were boos then already because the fans were annoyed with what Poch was doing. Then obviously Sterling makes that hideous free kick. I don't know what was going on there. Obviously by then I think his day has just gone from bad to worse. Uh, he did make a great assist for the goal. Other than that though, I think fans were just more, more annoyed with the way he conducted himself. So we know Cole Palmer's our penalty taker. We're not doing very well. This is all we've got left this season. You give that, that ball is Cole Palmer's ball for a reason. The goal would have gone in. It would have changed the dynamic of the game. And 
uh, Sterling messed that up. So he had a, a bad day all round. I don't think the boos were towards Sterling necessarily. Yeah, he had a poor performance, but that wouldn't be enough for us to boo. It was because of Poch and his poor decision making in terms of that. It's not going to do any any good for Mudrick's confidence either because I was watching Mudrick very, very closely. I think he's a very talented player. I don't think he knows the game yet in terms of the Premier League. So there's one point I was in Matthew Harden lower. He makes a really good cross out wide. His job then is to run in behind the defender and run into the box. He doesn't, he stays behind the defender. Little things like that can be part of his game that he can tweak. Again, that's something that Pop should be teaching him. Like, that should be like number one, your number one rule. Every other t successful team does it, you do it, City does it, Liverpool do it. It's about moving into space and create, creating those spaces for you to have an attempt at goal. So there are elements of his game there. Then there was another situation just before Leicester's second goal uh, where it all originated from something going wrong down our end. Mudrick, the ball hits him in the back and he's like, oh, he shouldn't be doing that. He should be then chasing after that ball, running after it to get it back. And I think the goal could have been avoided, to be honest. It was a great I'm, goal from I, him. I blame Casado. He's got to close it. He's got to block the shot. Uh, well, well, that got too, absolutely yes. smoked. But then Casado was just standing there, letting him come inside, pause. And then it's like, I mean, you understand, the gap is there. And then what is that he doing? That was You understand? He, 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 yeah, you have to blame Casado on that. You have to look at Petro, not, um, not Petrovic, um, Sanchez on the goal as well. Where, where the well, fuck is he? Where's he going, bro? Well, Sanchez should Where's he going, bro? Sanchez should the ball's on the wing. Why the fuck are you halfway on the other side of the goal? I have no idea. Sanchez. Should he be in the championship? Should he be? Should he? Should he have been at Leicester? Who Sanchez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I get why you're playing your second goalkeeper. No, who but I'm saying, why was seconds. his positioning? Why was he? Why did? What made him think the ball is on the right hand side of the pitch? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand on the fucking left hand side at the edge of my box. Mm -hmm. well, probably, that's what I'm yeah. going to do. Yeah, and I think that's what Petrovic would have done. But I think Poch again made the wrong decision in playing Sanchez. I'm getting very angry now about it, but I'm going to try and keep calm. He made the wrong decision in playing him because this is now quarter final. This is all we've got left. So the, then for that, you need to be playing... Sound like Ian Bill. I've got nothing left! I don't like your, I don't like your attitude today. It's appalling. I don't know what that means either. Winner. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, so yeah, so it was, it, was, it was like watching two teams play. I think a lot of it with us is, you know... Poch. Just Poch and, in, and, and just they're such a young side. So young. Like Jackson's just out here Jacksoning is what I call it. He's just out there Jacksoning. You know, at one minute. He's, he's, he's definitely Jacksoning someone. He's, 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 in, he's in front of goal, can't score. But then he has this, these little lightning moments mm. where, you know, he created the assist. He's, he's, he's got something in him, which I think now can be great. He just needs to work on his confidence and his mentality. It's all in his, it's all in his mind. Because from what I'm seeing, he can set up goals. He's just not as confident when he gets in front of that net. So yeah, so um, I'm just calling it Jacksoning. He's just out there Jacksoning for, for the foreseeable. Uh, special mention to Chuck Wemeka and Nonny's goal, Madweke. His goal was fantastic. Deflected. The lead up to it was fantastic. Yeah, but the shot was deflected. What are you talking about? It was, look. No, I'm not looking again. It was a fantastic, fantastic goal. It was deflected goal. shot though. Oh my it was God, good, it but it was deflected. It was going in anyway. It was, it was deflected. What was going in anyway? It was deflected. You can't say that wasn't good. It was good, but it was deflected. But again, though, I think those players should have been on a lot earlier. I think Sterling should have come off way earlier, obviously. And this is down to him. And this is why fans... Should Sterling have started? Um, I've got no problem with starting him. Listen, he is an experienced player. Mm. He's a very good player, but he's not a team player. He's all for himself. Yeah, but according to him on the internet, he says that if he's in, if if, if he sees a player in a better position to him, he will pass. That's what he said. I, I, okay, fine. Because he was asked the question: When you're one on one, are you shooting or are you passing? And he said, if it's someone in a better, is someone in a better area, I'm passing. But then, okay, so we saw him not pass at Wolves. If he's a team player, explain to me then why, when we're only one new up against a good Leicester side, they are on a bit of a decline at the minute, but a good Leicester side, why are you not? automatically thinking in your head, yeah, that's that's Palmer's. Of course it is. But also at the age he is... No, no, I'm is, asking you why. But also at the age he is, he arrogance. probably thinks that... It's not arrogance, it's experience. That's fucking, no, that's and arrogance. He's trying to, what are you talking he's having a about? Tough he, time. Hasn't, he hasn't been on form. That's what I'm saying. He's having a tough time so and he's he, trying to get himself back in the, back in right, the running. So when, when Havert, Maybe that goal Okay, could, so when Havertz was having his really terrible time... We gave him the penalty and he scored it. But you gave him the penalty when? At we, what point? It was 2-0. Right. Oh, Thank one you more goal. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have given two, him that ball at 1-0. Your favourite fucking line. 2-0. 
Everyone else, the most dangerous score line in Hundred, football. But it is. So it was. It was more dangerous giving. It was more dangerous giving it to him at two 0 then, wasn't it? Well, one or according two. According to your logic. According to your logic. One or two 0 What do you, you mean? You got to pick one. One or two. What's more difficult? One or two? You said two is the most difficult score line. Well, no, the most one dodgy. The game, but it, well, it's different though. One, the game is still open, so you've yeah. not dropped your guard. But two, but the game two, yes. Yeah, so. But it doesn't matter. He yeah. isn't our penalty taker. I'm just and he playing hasn't been devil's advocate, by the way. Listen, he Content. hasn't been. He hasn't been on form You're this season. You're up. I love it. I've done my. I've done my job. Yeah, Go on, like carry it. on. Yeah, I've done it. He hasn't. Been they like on... you, angry anyway. They say in the comments, "We like angry Sophie. She's I so don't cute." I like angry Sophie. Yeah, that's what they say in the comments. As you were. Thank you though. As you were. Yeah. So it's it's not the point. It's he hasn't been on form. If he was on form, I'd have no problem. But Palmer has been our most consistent penalty taker, most consistent player. That's what he does. Um he's scored and assisted in six separate games this season. Mm. More than any player in the Premier League for 23 22 20, 23 24. Mm -hmm. So he is a fantastic player and in these crucial moments, it's not a group stage. Like this was the game. I don't want to have another situation where we have to go to penalties. I don't want it to get to extra time. I don't want us to even think about going down that road. And we were on our own turf, which means we did have the advantage. So why would you step up and do that? It was number one, it was a poor penalty that he took. Very poor. The free kick is, I've never seen anything like that free kick. Yeah, he has some good elements to his game. And I think that shows when he does look up and make the pass and when he isn't selfish his performance improves and everybody's happy. When he starts doing things like that, it's like, I get when your confidence is down, I get you need a boost, but not in a game like that. Because how does he get a boost? That should be the... When not, you look in, at, not in a game like he's that, looking at, which is a knockout game. It's a knockout game, but he's looking at... It, he, the way he's looking at it is, it's Leicester. We're not playing a Premier League opposition. But he didn't score. Yeah, but that the way... It, you can't like... You no, I can. No, I'm he not, didn't I'm score not, I'm, not the saying, goal. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the that penalty you should have been Palmer's. I'm saying you can't predict and that then, Palmer is going to score. The penalty as well. You can't predict it. He could hit the post. The keeper could save it. It's not a guarantee. Over Sterling. It's not over Sterling. It's literally like the penalty is a 50-50. He could slip when he hits it. John Terry style. These things happen, Soph. If These things happen. Oh, no, I'm not listening to you. But it's the truth. The goal didn't go in. He continued Obviously, to have a very poor performance. Yeah. Again, down advocate. to his own. No, I don't want you to play devil's advocate. Why not? It's rude. This is what I'm supposed to do. It's not rude. Yes, it is rude. No, it's not. You're being rude. I'm not being rude. And annoying. Why am I be no, I'm being annoying because your team is shit. No, they're and that's not. That's your problem. We won 4-2. What are you talking about? And you're still shit. Because if you had... No, if, I'm talking about one person. One. I'm talking about one player's Liverpool? performance. <laughs> Can I say if Leicester never had 10 men, you get knocked out. Uh, well, uh, well, there could there could have been some. Well, no, it could have gone either yeah, way. Yeah, see, you'd be okay. You, you ten, it eleven on eleven, way. you're fucking out. It could have gone either way. Eleven, eleven, you're out. I'm not being funny. It was a goal scoring opportunity. It was a sending off. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, like no, but, sending no, off. It's your own stupidity for not, doing that. Yeah, we're, we're not saying it went a red. What I'm saying is, eleven on eleven, you're out. Well, no, it would have been done. Well, well, and do you know whose fault that would have been? Pops. Sterling's mostly. Oh, yeah, Sterling, yeah, yeah. It would have been his fault. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying, I think I'm more than happy for, for him to take the ball when we're already 2-3-0 no up. That's what, you fine. you blame Sterling more than Dezazi for that goal? Yeah, because, because again, that goal, again, you're going, again, you're going experience with a guy who is super young and has no experience. Like, you could tell when he did it, it was just, a, well, it was both of their fault, really. Like we just said, it was Sanchez and yeah. Dezazi's fault. More so, I think, Dezazi's fault. From, but I, 100% I think he just because he's literally, <laughs> by the, he's literally by the touchline. He could literally just... Put yeah, it was out. poor, but again, I think that just shows the inexperience we have in our in our team and how young they are. Because there are, it's like you have little glimmers of like sparkle in our mm. team, like with Noni, with Chuck, with Mecca. Like they're showing confidence, and Palmer makes everything look so easy. By the way, he's miles ahead of everybody else. His confidence is there. Everyone thinks he's a little bit timid, but when you're watching him like in in the ground, there was a point where. I think it was him. He smacked the ball in front of one of the uh, Leicester players' faces. He went down. Like, literally, like, you could hear it. Like, God knows how he even stayed standing for, for that amount of time. Um, if he was that nice, he would probably would have gone over and been like, you all right, mate? And he was just like, let's get on with the game. No no, but no he does have a little bit of, he does have a little bit of a temper in him. No one's going to check on someone if you hit him in the ball. You didn't Ain't hear no how, one checking. No, but you didn't hear how hard it was. It was, it was like... No, but Earthquake. Thing, thing got knocked out last week and no one checked. Well, I'm just saying, he does have a little bit of... I you have to have a little streak though, I think he's. Well that's what I'm saying. He has a little streak in him. He's got... He's very... He looks very young and very calm looks mad and very quiet. Quiet, yeah. And yeah, like... He's like... But he's... No. He is. But he's... He's, he's got, he's got brother, a little streak in him. 
He's got a little temp bit of temper in him, mm. which I like. And he makes everything look so easy, which is really hard to do when you're not um, aesthetically, you know. Yeah, look, it, it, yeah he's very gifted. He's very reminiscent to Earthworm Jim. To who? Earthworm Jim. Who's that? She don't know nothing. The comments will know. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim. Oh, Earthworm Jim. No yeah. idea who that is. The comments will. Do we have a real name for this human being? His name is Earthworm Jim. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's not called Earthworm, is he? Yeah, he is, because he's a worm. So his name's Earthworm Jim. That's not his legal name. His name's Earthworm Jim. Okay, so we've established. He's a worm. Okay. Like a worm, a worm on the floor. I understand what a worm is, yes. Uh, Well, yeah, I mean, so he's miles ahead of everybody else. But, you know, there are some glimmers in there. And I feel with the right manager, with the right discipline, we could really, really go far with some of these players. Some are never going to reach the standard. Um, But we do have some really, really hopeful glimmers in there. Gusto is... A fantastic, fantastic player. Um, I don't think Reese gets in ahead of him at the minute. I think if we wanted to incorporate Reese back into the side, then we'd maybe have to work out a slightly different position for him, which I'm not a fan of, as you know. Um, what well, your captain, Mr. Chelsea? Well, the thing is, it's it's going to be a hard one with Reese James. It's going to be how long can we keep him fit for a season, and. What do we do with Gusto now? Because Gusto's really working his socks off out there. I do. I would way prefer them as wing backs. Um, Gusto has everything. He has speed. He has discipline. He's shown initiative. He's shown loads of confidence. So he really is a fantastic player, and I've been really, really impressed with him alongside a few others. Um, Madweke is an amazing substitute. Um, comes on. He can score goals. He has confidence in himself as well, which is hard to show, especially when. You know your team are do it, have done su- such a poor job this season and we've really struggled just collectively, not just individually. Uh, but he's a fantastic player. Chuck Mecca again, I really liked his post-match um, interview when he was saying, you know, I'm just trying to show confidence in everything. That's what you need. And that's what I think some of these players don't have. You know, they're comparing, they're saying, you know, with Jackson, like Drogba had a terrible first season, which may all be true. But at the end of the day, it's sort of a t- like a waiting game. It's like one thing you don't have in the Premier League is time. Mm-hmm. And if he can't sort out that mental side of his game by next season, then there will be somebody else eventually that comes in and can score goals. But again, with Jackson, he's 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 showing some class around the pitch, just not not right in front of the goal, unless it's sort of like more of an easier goal. I mean, look at his goal that was because um, I haven't seen you since then, have I? Mm. It was well, he took it off of Palmer, but his little back heel. Mm. Don't think he meant to do that. No, he did. He's just out there Jacksoning. He did mean to do that. Yeah, but he's just out there Jacksoning. Nah, that one he meant. Because you, you, you he, he, Yeah, I watched the goal. I like actually I, because I'm I, I was I said yeah, he meant it still. Okay, but it's yeah, still again, that. it's not one of those clear cut yeah sort of chances. He's just Jacksoning out there again. It's just a bit, bit more bit more of um, hilarity from him, which I like. So I do think this team can become good. I'm seeing little glimmers of hope in there, and we are through to another semi final, and it's going to be another day at Wembley. Whether I can go to that day at Wembley or not, I'm not sure because it's marathon weekend. I'm running the marathon, obviously, but um, I do think we've got a chance in that game. I don't think it's a complete write-off. If you look at some of City's most difficult, not difficult performance, most frustrating performances, they've been against us, you know? So I bet when Pep got that draw, he's thinking Chelsea, because he never knows what we're going to get with us. You don't know what team you're going to get. Mm. Every, everyone else he can plan for. Um, and they've dropped points against us, both 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 games this season. It's not going to be the ideal for him. I know everybody thinks they're miles ahead of us, which they are, but Haaland has a problem against us. His his last performance at the Etihad even was not good. (laughs) Missed some sitters, basically. You could call it that. So it isn't going to be as clear cut. I'd rather have City there than Liverpool. Liverpool would just run all over us. Um, But it is going to be a difficult game. And again, it's going to come down to Poch and the boos and the noise around his job is going to elevate to new levels if we don't win that game, I think. Because it's already, like, on the edge, you know? Man United, four. Liverpool, three. Mad game. I didn't see that coming. Mad game. I didn't see that coming. My mate before, the night before, said, I fancy United for this. And I was like, nah, no way. Salah's back. It's a It's just not going to happen. But, um... I think Liverpool, especially when that, I mean, we can go into some of the other goals in a minute, but when Harvey Elliott scored that, he thought he'd won it, mm-hmm. ran over to Klopp. They dropped their guard for a second. More credit to United for coming back and doing that, but Jesus Christ, they I dropped their guard. I don't think they really dropped their guard because... They thought they'd won it. Yeah. 
I think it's Harvey Elliott that cost them. Do you? You can't make that decision at the edge of the box in the 119th minute. You can't try and bring it down. And there's literally one man behind you. Pause, yeah? You cannot do that. You have to just, as it comes, you put it back in the box straight away. You either put it back in the box or you put it back wide. You can't be dilly-dallying with it, trying to bring it down, trying to do this and turn. And United, bro, United were on it for the counter. They, they were, were prepared. It. And then Diallo, you get me. I've never seen the man, he absolutely took the piss, but man scored a goal, got sent off, threw his shirt in the crowd and walked straight down the tunnel. <laughs> I know. Said Klopp, hold that blood. Then we have, we got to talk about Klopp. Um, they want to call him the media darling. Oh, Jürgen this, Jürgen that. He's an absolute disgrace. He's an absolute fraud. Why? Because the man, how, how, because when it's all going good for him and it's all nice and it's all Liverpool playing football, top of the league, yeah, rock and roll football, so it's all good. As soon as it goes left a little bit, the man starts to call journalists fat and saying journalists are yeah, not fit. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Like, why? What made you do that? Journalists are asking you a question because you're rattled with the way your team bottled it, yeah? The way that you've allowed... Anthony, of all people, yeah, the fridge magnet, the spinning frigid, actually spun your whole defender and scored with his right foot blood. How have you allowed, in the words of Hussam, two memes to score against you? McTominay and Anthony, bro. Evaluate your life, blood, yeah? <laughs> Seriously. You you should be more, your life. Evaluate your life, bro. You should be more concerned with your fucking defence than your fucking, than, than, than the journalists asking you questions, bro. You understand? Because if I was that journalist, I would have said, hey, listen, mate, who are you calling fat, you overrated mug? You got one Champions League, one FA Cup, you're the blood. You went to the buffet and got one chicken wing, you got one, you, you got one piece of rice, one piece of fish, one piece of lamb. That's you, man, at the buffet, blood. Just one, one apple, one grape, one satsuma. You ain't got two, you ain't got three. One of one, blood. You understand? And then I, when, I don't think I do and then understand. When you, and then when, you, when your season done this year, yeah, and you win one little shitty, rubbed out Europa League, yeah, mm. you're not even top three managers ever in the Premier League, yeah? The top three is, Sir, is uh, Pep. No, no, no. Sir Alex. Sorry. I'm saying Premier League, yeah? yeah? So in Premier League, yeah? Yeah. Sir Alex. Pep. Wenger. Then Jose. Then Klopp. <clears throat> yeah. Because Wenger, Wenger, Jose's got free. Well, also what Jose did at the time. Yeah. If you have to look back then with the players, he, he made up, he made them um, a, a crazy, crazy team. You get me? But Wenger done the Invincibles. Wenger won two doubles. You get me? Wenger won one, two, three, four, four. four if like in, in his prime time, I'm talking about prime Wenger. So 96 no, to 2000. So hybrid Wenger. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah. Like prime Jose would, yeah. would have been the, the you, 2005. You feel me? Clear of Klopp. Clear. Man's a bottle job. Man's a bottle job. Man is a bottle job, bro. Absolutely. These men are running around. Oh, we're gonna win the we're gonna win the quad. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Jurgen's farewell. Jurgen farewell, your mum. I don't think they him and Elliot should have been hugging like that when they still had a few more minutes to go. Just because of the way the game was. I I, I don't that's not that wasn't sensible. Ten Hag beat you, pause, with Bruno at centre back and Anthony at left back. But you're cussing journalists. Evaluate your life, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he um, he went that way. Obviously, he was a bit of a sore loser on the day. And uh, Jurgen flop strikes again. <laughs> Jurgen flop. flop back again. He yeah, he definitely didn't handle himself correct. He didn't come correct for that post match interview, did he, Troopy? Nope. No. He was an absolute. But United won disgrace. that. United won that fair and square. And by the way, some of their defending, United's defending that day was was not good. Mm -hmm. It was not good for the Liverpool. I mean, goals. but yeah, even the Liverpool defending their attempt to the close, Rashford goal when yeah. my man just passes it to a fucking um, Bruno. Their attempt to, to close players down wasn't really that no. great, which is, I think is why you saw quite a few goals in that game. However, I just think United's will to come United back. United never scored four goals. I mean, I saw United score four goals. Yeah, I can't remember the last When's time they the did that. When did that they do that? Four goals, blood. And against Liverpool. And this guy's got some journalists. This guy's a prick, blood. <laughs> this guy's an absolute prick. He, you, yeah, he, he, you can have your little, your little dead Carabao Cup, yeah? And your dead Europa League, blood, yeah? Can you now win the Premier League, yeah? You now win the blood club FA Cup, yeah? So you get me, you got some dead dusty double, blood. Well, when people are embarrassed, they go on the defense, don't they? And I think that's what we saw there. Yeah, but why are you cussing the 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 the, the, the uh, journalist? What did he do? He asked you a question. Yeah, I know. And then that's your, that's your response. Yeah. No, I did see the clip of it. It was very Clown. rude. Clown. Very rude. But I mean, 
that's what football does to you, I guess. City are going to win it anyway, you get me. No. Uh, yeah, they are City are winning it. But listen again, right, troops, I can see it in your eyes. City are winning it. No, you you've got some I'm glimmers. The truth. I, so, so when I, you're now top of the league, okay? Yeah. It's yours to lose. No, it's not. It's yours to lose. No, it's not. You are top of the league. It's yours no, to it's lose. Not. We have to go to Man City away. We have to go to Man United away. Still we yours to, go to lose. Away. We have to go Brighton away. Well, if you, we well, don't even put Tottenham in there because if you can't win against Tottenham, yes, then you've do. got no it's respect a North London from me. Derby. Like, get a grip. Please stop this. It's a North no, London Derby. No, get a grip. Derby. Get a grip. It's a North London Derby. You can beat them. It don't matter. It's a North London Derby. Well, you've got Sophie. the same mentality as them then. Sophie, I'm not scared of playing you. You're shit. I'm scared of going to Tottenham. Yeah. Why? Because you're shit and you're coming Emirates. You shouldn't be scared of going to Tottenham. It's a North London Derby. I don't care. You shouldn't be scared of them. Whatever, man. You don't. You see, you this, is why, of them. this is why. You're don't in give the, them any credit. This is why you're in the predicament you're in. Don't get. The, don't give this them any credit. This is why you're in the predicament. We're in the predicament we're in because we've got teenagers playing. No, that's the end of it. And no. we've got we've got a manager who's making crazy crazy decisions, no. not coaching them properly. Because you're 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 going into games that. Do oh, not yeah, give we're Spurs win any nope, credit nope, ever. Nope, nope, I'm not giving them credit. It's a North London derby. I know it's a North London derby and I expect there's going to be it's, goals. It's, they're, they're trying to stop us from winning the league. Do you realise this is their cup final? This is their Champions League, so their World it. Cup. So embarrass them even more. It, anyway, Fulham nil. No, Fulham three. Mentality down, down, down the drain with you. It's not mentality you. down the drain. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You can win this league. No, we can't. You can no, win this can't. league. You're trying to draw me out. You think you're going to get me clipped? You can win you this league. You are fucking hilarious, You bro. can win this league. You ain't getting me clipped. You can win it. Anyway, Fulham three. Not that attitude, you can't. Yeah, we're not winning it. Fulham free. Well, no, well, if that's your attitude, then then you then you're not going to. Then yeah, no, not. I hope they don't have the same attitude as you. So do I. Good. It's up to them to win it, not me. Good. It's not, it's not my job to win it. We'll clip this when you do yeah, win it. Yeah, clip this, and then what? You're gonna have mud on your face like you have ninety nine percent this season. Why do I? Because your team, you're in the mud, mud on your face. Your team's no, in the I'm mud. No, I'm gonna be right that you shouldn't have written your own team. No, off. I'm gonna be right. Unfortunately, okay. I want us to win the league more than you. Believe that. Well, I don't care if you win it or whatever. Exactly. But I do like to see City lose, so... Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I'm a realist. Realise this. You can be a realist, yeah. but I don't know why you're writing yourself off so quickly. I'm not writing myself off. I'm telling the truth. It's not writing myself off. It's we're not going to win. Okay. You well, get I, me? I, 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 think, I think there's still a chance. Of, we're I'm in a race dis- with I'm, I'm going to politely more. disagree with you. No, we ain't winning. I, I'm allowed my own opinion. Yeah, but you're wrong. Okay. I but think you're is, wrong. No, I'm not. I'm Arsenal. I'm never wrong. I think you're wrong. I'm never wrong about my team. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. When, when, I, when have I ever said something wrong about my team? When have I got it wrong? Tell me. You just say. I said we're not going to win the league last year. Havertz wasn't what happened? The right signing. We didn't win the league last year. Six, Sixty-five uh, rotted pounds. Yeah, what one sterling signing. or something? One sterling. And now one, you're like, what? I love him so much. I don't love him so much. I never said that. <laughs> I said he's doing his thing. You get me? Oh. <laughs> See, you're all over the place, blood. It's a cup holder. When it comes to Arsenal, I get it right nine times out of ten. I simply when, when it comes to trophies and winning, bro, they don't matter about players. When it comes to this and this and yo, I said we won't get top four that year. We didn't get it. I said we won't win the league last year. We didn't. We didn't. Well, win I it. just see a little sparkle in you this 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 season. I like, wouldn't write sparkle. yourself off, but you're gonna need you're gonna need you're gonna need the belief and you're gonna need the mentality to do it. It's not me having the belief. It's them. So go, well, go. It don't matter it, if then. I believe. It's well, up to them. G- okay. So be be the twelfth man on the pitch. I am. Scream and shout. The, am, that's when I'm in the stadium. But Good. that don't mean that I don't have my opinion. You can have your opinion, but I, think, I just think you're writing yourself off too early. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. We got a blood. Let me show you something, yeah? I know the fixtures. We've been through it. No, you don't I know the it. fixtures. In 21 days, in the space of 21 days, yeah, mm-hmm. we play Man City away, Luton, Brighton, Bayern, Villa, Bayern, Wolves. Don't tell me, Sophie, blood. Don't tell me. Please, don't tell me. Please stop being a pussy. Uh, whoa. You're being a pussy. Whoa. You are. Whoa. Yep, they heard whoa. it. He's even laughing. You're being yeah, a pussy. Yeah, man, whoa. man up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man up. Slow down. Man up. Slow down. Man up. No, no, no. Slow down. Have some faith. Slow down. We move. Slow down. On to the next. No, 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 no. <laughs> man up, blood. You're just fucking woman. You're man fuck, up. You lost, On the, to you the lost next. your fucking mind, mate. Well, I haven't. Come man on. Man up. Oh, I'm scared of going to Spurs. <laughs> Get a grip. Bro, you're scared of go- <laughs> you're scared of going to fucking. He's rattled. You're scared of going to. He's fu- rattled. Look, his his fingers are. You're twitching. scared of going to forest. <laughs> are you alright? Yes. That's how I chill. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you're scared of going to forest. I feel I've rattled Troopy. No, you're not. You're scared of going to forest. Uh, no, I'm not scared of. Yeah, going you are. There. No, not really. You're scared of going to fucking. I'm very much on a like a. You're scared of going to Luton. No, I'm just happy in tenth this season. We can just chill at tenth. Cool. You're not even 10th. We're 11th. But yeah. we're going go, to go back up to 10th. <laughs> we're going to go back up to 10th. We love it there. You know, you know. It's, you know. Our, it's our little You're home this 12th. season. You're finishing 12th this season. Oh, don't be silly. Right, go on then, move on. Yeah, let's move on. This fucking woman. <laughs> Look 
<laughs> Fulham free, Tottenham nil. I didn't even see the game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what was it? Sorry. Fulham free, Tottenham nil. Oh, I saw the highlights. I was I was there in in full force to witness that and to go on to expressions. Yeah, I saw, I saw you trolling him. Hundred percent. 100%. His, you know what? One thing, Expressions is there to entertain and he does entertain us. But Spurs, I do worry that they're going to damage his health, you know, quite substantially if he continues to support them. Um, He's got no choice. <clears throat> they were poor. They were poor all over the pitch. Um, Fulham, bear in mind, Fulham are on form at the minute. So mm. we can't discredit them. Um, how do you say his name? Muniz or Munez? M uh, I think it's Munez. Or Mun Munez, sorry. Yeah, yeah. so I don't want to get it. I don't yeah. want to get it wrong. I think so. But he's on form, scoring most games. Abroja, since he's been there, he wasn't even on the bench. I think he must, must be injured or something. But since he's come in, he's really transformed that team in terms of, I just think, confidence. Because once you start winning games, other players around you, automatically their performances go up and, and they start, you know, showing some initiative. And I thought they ran all over him. Spurs are just out here being Spursy. Um, I can't think of one player really that, that, that was like sort of stood out. Um, I think since Madison's been back from injury, he hasn't really been the same as how he started the season, has it? Where's all them people that told me Madison's better than Odegaard? Did they? Yeah, where are they? <laughs> where well, are I you, wasn't blood? one of them. Yeah, where are you, Prince? I'm not that delusional. I want to know where these dickheads are, blood. I want to know. Nah. <clears throat> he ain't nowhere near blood. Nah. Crazy. Odegaard's best midfielder in the league right now. And I think Expression said it, they, they play with a very high line. Um... That's just Angie's style, isn't it? Mm. He, he it likes to X. attack. But, huh? It suits X. Why? The high line. I don't get it. Oh, oh are you talking about the, the um, Scooby thing? What do you call it? Zooby. Zooby, sorry, not Scooby. <laughs> Scooby. Is this fucking Scooby-Doo? Scooby snacks. This fucking woman. I don't know. I don't do that sort of thing, do I? No. Um, Apparently. <laughs> we'll call it a Scooby. Yeah, no, that's not. Let's, let's call it a Scooby. No, no, no. I'm not smoking a Scooby. Are you fucking mad? Don't have a fucking fraudulent Stop laughing pausing us, fucking business man. ID with. You see how Jay, you're mustn't mad smoker. Yo, uh, continue, Sophie, anyway. <clears throat> continue. Now, Spurs are just out here being Spurs. I'd just like to point out, you know, start of the season, they were top. You know, they the were league. like, we're going to win the league. Uh, definitely got top four for this season. Mm -hmm. Going to finish above Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time until normal service was resumed. And that seems to have happened and I couldn't be more thrilled about it. Just just laughing. Mm -hmm. Expressions, just every goal that went in. He was like, destiny! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> what did he say? He said about, what did he call that? It the was their youth? destiny to lose that game. What did he call that you? What did he call the guy? He said, like, oh, the, Ni the, the, the Nigerian Messi or yeah, something. Yeah, he ain't going to no, do what did he say? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then he binged it. Yes. I was just like, yeah, you're just in the mud, bro. <laughs> he really, they're, they're, just, they're just not even worth mentioning anymore because nah. they're, they're just out there spursing. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to like, officially bottle top four and that's when I'm going to yeah. kill them. Yeah. Until then, I'm just waiting and just plotting my next move. Yes. You get yeah. me? Well, silence is the key. Mm -hmm. Silence is the key. Um, I thought the Wolves commentary game was was proper good. Yeah, up until the ninety first minute. F first when it half, off. nothing, 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 nothing at all. No Stop his ties when it kicked off. Yeah, because yeah. it was two one Wolves in a ninety first minute bang two two ninety fifth bang three two game over. I would have loved to have been that commentary and when the third goal went in. Yeah, that away end looked mad. Like scenes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scenes, especially yeah. when they probably haven't had many celebrations like that. They haven't. They you were know? sharing a ground at one point. They couldn't even play in their stadium. They was playing in Northampton. Yeah. So, and They've I think when you get it. to those lower leagues, you have all sorts of problems. You have financial problems. They're a championship. Have... They ain't that low. Yeah, yeah. Already they, went, they did drop to the League One, but now they're like a certified championship team. Yeah, yeah. So they're like on the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They, they, they lost the playoff final last year to Luton. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. I think there's, <clears throat> you go for a lot of heartache down, you know, when you, when you go that down. That guy at Sporting Lisbon that everyone rates, he was at Coventry last year. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that, that um, what's his name? Yokoras. The one that everyone one. rates at Sporting Lisbon. Oh, okay. Striker. I'll have a look. He was moving crazy last year in, um, at Coventry. And this year he's gone to like another level. Yeah. But that's probably yeah. That that's it, people. That's that's all the games that. I think that's all the games. You get me? That like Premier League, like West Ham one one. No one gives a shit, blood. No, Burnley, no one cares. Burnley two one. No one gives a shit, blood. No one cares. You get me? Good, good, good. Forest for did them, have um, four points deducted from them. That was very hard. I did see that. Yeah. And Man City are still here with their hundred and fifteen charges, just living fucking life. They're just out. They're just out there surfing. Yeah. 
It does. I don't. It is mad. It is mad. I think. Well, their 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 comeback to that and their excuse for that is the fact that they have so many more charges against them. It's going to take longer. And they got so many more lawyers. They got 115 fucking lawyers, mate. They got one lawyer for each fucking charge. But it is hard. It is it is harsh for Forrest because they've now dropped into the bottom three and Luton are one point ahead. I'm not complaining. Big up Luton Amari, my brother. Come on, Amari. Let's stay up, blood. Pause. Well, hold on. We should talk. We haven't actually talked about that. How how Bournemouth four. Luton three. Yeah, that was. I don't want to talk about that. You can't. Well, why not? You can't because be biased. You, because no, I will be biased. You can't be biased. I will be. That's my friend's team. Yeah, my friend plays for them. I am being biased, bro. If you're losing a what three nil if, lead, if yeah. You, what you should say is if you're winning three nil, and then you. Yeah, but we've all been in that in that situation. No, like, it was only a very few games since like nineteen ninety something. Or you something was like up. That. And you you was winning against us two nil. We beat you three two. What are you talking about? I'm talking about... Th- well, why are you talking about the two nils? This is three goals up. You were winning three nil. You can't defend the three nil lead. That will cost you. That will cost you and you will get relegated if you if you show that sort of mentality. You need to be on your guard you look at, at the manager. all times. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you got to look at the manager, mate. End the stream. Yeah. End the stream, people, because yeah. Troops is just... He's just... I'm in my looting bag. You are. You're being silly now. This is my brethren, bro. I'm, 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 I'm loyal. <clears throat> Remember Georgia on Love Island? I'm loyal. No, let's not talk about that. Yeah, but okay, well... Why don't you go on Love Island? No, thank you. Why not? Absolutely not. That would Why do not? no good to my mental health whatsoever. Why not? You always you say you're looking for love? Yeah, well, they people aren't looking for love when they go on there. You can go get love and the bag. No, I think um, it wouldn't be for me. I think I'm too old. I don't think do I do well in that sort of environment. And I wouldn't like... I, they're not my type of people that I would, would want to socialise with, I think. I don't think I'd find the one. I think it's more of a younger programme and more of a clicky programme. I'm not into that. I don't yeah. I like to keep myself to myself. No offence to anybody that goes on it. You do you. You know? And I that's love, it. I love, I love how you just slid out of the Luton game there. Yeah. Into, into something else. Yeah, okay completely unrelated yeah. to football. Gang member. <laughs> and that's it people episode 31 wrapped up like a zubi we got Sophie Scooby Every, no we're not smoking Scooby Pause. we're calling it Scooby we're not smoking no man on this show blood yeah that don't happen around here yeah I don't get it because Scooby's a man so we're not smoking oh and a by man. the way my, we're not smoking no dog neither my mum said say hello to Troopy yo big up mumsy you understand big up your damn self every time you get me <laughs> I need some Greek lamb in my life she'll love Holla that your boy you feel me but, pause um, what do you mean pause you can't have my mummy's lamb why not? Are you talking about her hips? I'm talking about IJ. The meat on her. Oh my god, this woman. I has think lost that's a pause. Her. Do you think I like gilfs? Milfs. Well, she's a gilf now. No, my she, mom's yeah. not. No, not my mom. My wife, Lily, the boy's mom. She's a milf because she's like young mom. Your mom, my mom. They're more on the that side. Well, not my mom. Your your mom. Pause on my mom. Your mom. You get me? Well, you don't know. You don't I'm know not attracted age. to... Your, your mum is very good looking. You haven't seen my mum? Yeah, I have. Have you? I spoke to your mum on the fucking phone. Oh, you just you might have seen a little video yeah. of her. Um, so, yeah, she is, she is uh, very attractive, but you know what I mean? Um, I'm not well, trying well, to... Well, gilf isn't in terms of age. A gilf is when you become a grandma. Yeah, she is a grandma. Yeah, she is. Uh, exactly. Is so. She's a gilf. See? This fucking woman. But yeah, I'm talking I'm about just her... Saying you shouldn't... Greek make good lamb. I know that. So but, I'm talking about lamb chops. Well, of course, but we're always you, talking, you're talking about, about fucking. We're always talking about something else when you say pause. You think I'm gonna talk about it your mum in that way? It could be misinterpreted. I'm gonna talk about your mum in that way. It could be in talk. I'm it respectful. Could be, it could that's be, your mum. It could be misinterpreted. No, that's your mum. I don't know. I have you, respect. I'm gonna diss your mum and your dad or your sister. Well, you did I'll just. You. you did earlier say that American women were chubby. They are. Claudia's not. She's fucking skinnier than you. She is skinnier than me. She's like the mic. <laughs> she is. She's got to put on weight. Fuck, you know, she needs, she, needs, she needs to roll with them fatties. You know what I mean? Well, you know what? I rescued her. Well, the, th- the situation is she doesn't like any of the American food. So she's struggling. She's having to go to the international stores to get, because you know they put so much shit in their food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, over t- there. Tell her go Whole Foods. Whole she Foods does. safest place. She does, but well, it still doesn't really taste all the same. Like when I go over to America, I always bring her like a load of crisps yeah. and uh, just any, any of the medicines that she needs, yeah. things like that. Mm. But yeah, um, we're not, um, you know me? We got the fatties as well, blood, before they try to come from No, we're not saying that. Yeah, I got a little belly as well, blood, you get me, blood, so you yeah, me, blood. Yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah, you but I got a woman, that. blood, yeah? So hold that, yeah? Doesn't mean you can let yourself you go. Fatties, you fatties ain't got a woman, blood, yeah? You understand? I've had my woman for 19 years, no, bro. No, we're not I saying the F word. I got two kids, blood. 
Yeah. We're not saying the F word. Why not? You've got, I've got two kids' blood. You didn't carry them. Yeah. I fucking, I literally do carry them blood on my back. Yeah. What's that? What's I that carry got to, the family that, on my back. What's that got to do with the belly? Yeah. What do you mean the belly? Belly? My belly's, my belly, my belly's got better. The Hennessy belly. My belly's got better. You know, Sam, we can't yeah, all, it we, does, we, it does look a little We can't all look like a twig like you. Well, I'm actually not a twig at the minute. Yeah, I've got a chubby belly. I could put my fucking finger, I could do that around your ankle. Ooh. That's inappropriate. What, that? Yes, that is Why? inappropriate. You see, you're just a freak. No. Right, Brennan, we're done. <laughs>